all right dear students we have another question and what we need to do we need to prepare a trade receivables ledger control account trade receivables ledger control account beta also known as sales ledger control account showing the value of the trade receivables on 30th september so it's a nine mark question beta what we need to do we need to prepare a control account for all customers that is all debtors trade receivable ledger control account or sales ledger control account means the same thing so this means beta it is an account for all customers combined so let us see beta the opening balances now if year is ending on 30th september then the year must have been started on after september comes october now beta we have trade receivable balance 8200 so if the question doesn't mentions that it is a debit balance or a credit balance you would always assume a debit balance so there can be a minority balance as well and minority balance means that some of the customers have paid us more than they owe us so therefore now we as a business are liable to return this amount to them so therefore it's a minority balance and it must come on the credit side so the normal balance is always there and the uh, minority balance can be there or it cannot be there and if there is only one balance in sale ledger control account we would always assume that it's a debit balance okay and let us see what other things do we need to record in the trade receivable control account then we have an allowance for irrecoverable debt also known as provision for doubtful debt and beta just remember that provision for doubtful debt must never be shown in the sales ledger control account why because uh in sales ledger control account we only record irrecoverable debts okay and now there is a difference between allowance and provision and actual irrecoverable debt allowance is the estimate of the debts that can be turned bad in the future and irrecoverable debts are the actual debts that have been turned bad so we are only going to record the irrecoverable debts that have actually turned bad and not the estimate or allowance okay so there is a separate account for allowance for uh, provision for doubtful debt and this must not be written uh, under sales ledger control account now from 1st october till 30th september now for the entire year data is given so sales revenue is given so what we need to do beta uh, uh, only the credit sales should go in here in the sales ledger control account beta uh, and the cash sale must never be recorded in the sales ledger control account now the uh, the question has states that 80% of sales and 80% of sales return were credit transaction so beta we are only going to be concerned with the 80% that is credit sale cash sale or sale on check should must not uh, ever be recorded in the uh, control account why because the cash sale or sale on check must be recorded in the cash and bank account respectively and not the debtors account okay trade receivables are only created when we sell goods on credit and not on cash so we need to apply 80% on the sales so 40000 times 80% would be how much 32000 40000 80% so the entry would be trade receivables would be debited why customers are going up asset is going up and sales would be credited so sales whenever sales increases we are going to credit the sales and the customers account we are going to debit it okay now the sales returns are also there so again beta sales return only credit transactions of the sales return should be recorded here okay and any customers that have bought goods on cash from us and whenever they return the goods to us we are going to pay them immediately refund them the amount okay so uh, we are not going to record the so beta must remember only the credit sales and credit sales return should be recorded here and not the cash sale and cash sale return okay because these uh, cash sale and cash sale return would be recorded directly in the cash or bank account and right now we are making the debtors account okay credit customers account so beta uh, if the uh, sales revenue increases a customer so the sales return part would decrease our debtors so the entry would be sales return also known as return inward sales return would be debited and the customers account would be credited again we aren't recording the entire sales return we are only recording the credit part okay so if examiner uh, says only sales and sales return and if it does not mentions whether it's cash or credit 
okay so then we would always assume that it's a credit transaction and not the cash transaction check from customers receive and bank so but whenever customers are paying us so the entry would be bank would be debited and trade receivable control account would be created now instead of writing check received from customers we are going to write the bank okay because the name of the account uh, would be written and not the description that is given in the question then there is a there are irrecoverable debts whenever the customers fail to pay us the amount due then it is known as irrecoverable debt beta so the entry would be irrecoverable debt would be debited and uh, uh, receivables would be credited irrecoverable debt would be debited and trade receivable would be credited then we have beta discount allowed whenever customers are paying us earlier than uh, they promise so we are going to give them some discount and it is a type of cash discount and due to this discount the customers will pay us lesser than before so the entry would be discount allowed would be debited and the customers account would be credited then interest charge on overdue accounts beta whenever uh, we fail to pay the uh, whenever our customers fail to pay us on time uh, we are going to penalize them by charging them some interest so they are not late on their payments and due to this now we are going to receive 150 more than previously so therefore the interest charge would increase our debtors so the entry would be trade receivables would be debited and the interest income would be actually credited okay so anything that increases our debtor would be debited and anything that reduces our customers would be credited so uh, there's another uh, requirement a check for 300 receive and bank was later dishonored this dishonored means that bank has failed to honor this check and maybe the customer doesn't have a, 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 a amount in the bank okay sufficient amount in the bank or maybe there is an incorrect date or there is some uh, overwriting on the checks and due to this reason it is dishonored check so better whenever the customers paid us the entry was bank debit and trade receivable was credited and whenever the check uh, dishonors or returns so the entry would be reversed now the bank would be credited and the customers would be debited again so the customers that were later credited because we received the check now would be debited again so both of these transactions are relating to relating to the bank now to differentiate between this bank from this one we are going to write dishonored in front of that okay allowances for irrecoverable debt should never go ahead these are just given to confuse us and allowance for irrecoverable debt must not be written as here now what we need to do better we need to find the closing balance now if the opening debit balance is coming on the debit side then the closing debit balance must come on the opposite side now better the bigger side would be debit why because there is nothing missing on the debit side now the bigger side balance should goes on both of the sides and if we deduct all of these three four items from this uh, we are left with balance cd okay balance cd is carried down carried down is closing balance and bd is brought down its opening balance now we are making the account for the entire year okay sometime examiner uh, gives only one month date so we can write one month date this balance carried down closing balance at the start of the year would again becomes opening balance at the start of next accounting period but after 30th September would goes 1st October after September would comes 1st October so better this is the trade receivable control account 